Hey everybody, how's your weekend been? All right, here we go. You guys wanted me to draw this picture of me getting chased by a dog. You got it. Hey everybody, hey Carol, Kathleen, Sharon, Eileen, Emily, hey what's up Pete, thanks for uh, coming back to watch me finish this drawing up. So we had um, three drawings this time around because one of them was already done to completion and the other one I have plans for. So you'll get to see that later. All right. Hey, Karen. Gotta be aware of where I'm drawing here so I don't drag my hands <laughs> through everything. I'll start out with these guys first. We had a pretty busy day today. I was um, working on, everybody's been asking about the uh, status of Anna's cardboard castle. So we um, I was working on the flag for that today. So I did one side and then I had Anna do the other side. It's not exactly the same. In fact, they're quite different. So you'll probably be seeing that this week at some point. But I got to knock out a lot of um, a lot of the castle this week. <laughs> Lisa, you got the the ninja creamy. That's awesome. So if you guys are just, if any of you just like popped on and don't know what's going on. So um, basically what happens is I draw Monday through Friday. And then on Saturday, we post a poll that you guys vote on. And then I end up drawing the one that gets the most votes or I get finishing up on it. So I'll be inking this up, which I'm doing right now. And then I'll be um, coloring it in as well. What's up, Michael? Monica wants to know if I'm in touch with my friend John. No, I have not spoken with Bradley in, oh man, decades. I think the last time I saw him it must have been in middle school. And, and even then I hadn't spoken to him since I was, so I think I must have been 14. But I hadn't spoken to him since I was 12 because we ended up going to different schools.
Hey, Rochelle. So if any of you have any questions, you can, this is the day to do that, or this is the evening to do that, because usually during the week, I, I'm just drawing and um, we're recording, so there's not much, I mean, I might, I might have time to, to answer questions like typing, but if you wanted to ask me directly like right now, and I happen to see what you say, more than happy to answer questions. Thanks, Sandra. Thanks, Diane. Uh, Billy wants to know if, if, if I, um, if I could be paid to do a drawing. So um, I have a page that is for uh, as a subscription. It's a group where what how it works is you will um, you would sign up for it and there's a monthly fee. But what that entitles you to is every month you get a chance for me to draw. Um, what you want me to draw like one one um, subject and then I'll work on it for a month and then I will get that in the mail to you um, there's there's more details on the actual group page and we got that spiel down exactly but basically basically is the gist of it is that um, this way I don't get slammed with a whole bunch of requests at once and everybody has a chance to get a drawing where I can just focus on that, give my all my attention to and um, I'm not charging like exorbitant prices because it's just the monthly fee, which I think is $9.99. But uh, every month, um, there's a there'll be a random drawing, and I'll and you, you might if you're in that group, you might get picked. Clear. I have tried pastels. Um, the reason I don't use them is they're just a little bit too messy for me. Um, yeah, and I don't want to just get it all over the house and all over my clothes and stuff. I love them. I think they're cool. And I think, you know, for some people, they really are amazing at it. I just never really gave it as much attention because I just kind of got turned off by the, all the, the dust and all the stuff all over my hands. <laughs> I'm already messy enough as it is. I don't, I don't need anything to be messier. I mean, if you can already see, I've got like, my, it's all already on my fingers because as a left-hander, you just tend to drag your hand through, through all your writing and artwork. And it's just sort of the life of a left, left-hander. So um, I think I'm going into my, I'm going to my third week, fourth week. Okay, I'm going to my fourth week. So this is all very new. Um, and uh, still working out the kinks. Just uh, improving all the time. Just to recap on the, the, the subject of this, this particular drawing, um, uh, 
when I was in elementary school, I um, had this buddy here, Bradley, and um, one weekend I spent the the night over at his house Friday, and then I think Saturday we decided to follow this dry creek bed as far as we could take it. And at some point, uh, we ran into this this dog, and he and he chased us. And I thought I thought that was it for me. And I just gave up and turned around, and he didn't dog didn't jump on me. The dog was just growling and barking at me. So thankfully, the dog was content with me just getting out of his territory. But he was a scary German Shepherd. I love, don't get me wrong, I love German Shepherds, but you know, if they're being scary, they can be pretty scary. Thank you, all of you guys, for your, com your compliments. Just a lot of compliments here. I'm sorry, Darcy. Um, I, I worked with dogs professionally. Um, I've been bitten twice. And the worst bite I ever got was from a Chihuahua. And the takeaway I, I got from that was you got to respect the teeth. So if, if something has teeth, doesn't matter how big it is, it can do damage. Uh, Rachel, I was, I, I, I'm going to say I was maybe eight, eight or nine, I think. Thanks, Stacy. Yes, Karen, it is a picture of myself and my friend running away from a dog. <laughs> Asking why you don't start your drawings on the right and work to the left. Um, you know, ask my brain that I don't know. Um, I will. I'm. I can't really control how I.
create once I'm in this stage, I definitely have more control of where I'm drawing because I'm just going over and adding detail. But when I'm actually creating, I just got I got to go where, where my where my brain takes me. Can't really explain creativity and how it works, where it comes from. I mean, maybe somebody can, but I certainly can't. Well, probably, maybe I could train myself, but um, you know, it's not something I can just decide. I, I always see myself as just more of a a conduit for for this energy coming out of me. I mean, it might sound sort of hippie-ish to you, but. Um, I think this this drawing for me has always been something that is, is a little bit um, of a mystery to me. I think it'd be very different if you were like someone who's looking at a picture and copying it or like painters who look at a still item and paint them like that, you know, maybe then, but you're not yeah. doing that. You're drawing something out of your head. That right. It's just whatever, you know, you have to lay it down the way your brain sees it. Right. And, and, and I, I can't even say that I even really see it. I mean, I, I just know it. I just, it just, I don't know. It's hard for me to explain. <laughs> it just sort of comes out and, and, um, yeah, so there, so where where I decide to draw when I'm initially creating the image, I you know I just let it take me where it takes me. Um, but again, at this in this stage, it makes more sense for me yes to draw this way because I don't drag my my ink into in the way, and I do have control over that at this stage for sure. So I love these pens. I just discovered them recently because they don't um, they don't bleed or feather when I, I start putting laying down the markers. However, if I do draw thicker lines with it, it does tend to pull up and it takes a long time for it to draw dry. And um, so I have to be aware of that as well. So there are there is a disadvantage to these pens, but I think the the advantage uh, advantage outweighs the disadvantage. Thanks, Mary. <laughs> Glad it makes you feel that way, Judy. Definitely. I feel more peace when I'm drawing. I mean, it just puts me in a calmer state of mind. I think it was kind of like as a little kid, drawing every day, it was kind of like therapy for me because I could just kind of retreat into this, this world, come up with different ideas and, um, just work out ideas and things that I was dealing with. <laughs> Pete. Thanks, Karen. <laughs> Jody, oh, that was, that game was pretty wacky, that's for sure. It just, uh, we put the uh, little mouthpieces in the dishwasher, so I have to see how, how they fare in there. 
Yeah, I haven't turned it on yet. I was going to say the thing I told you earlier from someone who had. Oh, okay. Well, glad I didn't turn it on. So. Yeah. <laughs> and there, I was just thinking, like, how am I going to do this? Because they're going to fly around, which is I'm going to have to put them in the bottom rack. And it said put it on the top rack. So I was like, yeah. Someone, I, I remember I told you earlier today, someone message and I sent it to you. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to hand wash them. That'll soak them first. Sheila wants to know do I have any drawings when I was young? Um, they are in storage in California, some of them. And then um, there is some that my mom, I think, might have. And then. One of my buddies, Josh, he's always like, anytime I've sketched stuff, just ever since we were kids, he's like, Captain, he's like, one day, you're going to, I'm going to sell these. You know, I'm going to get a lot of money for them. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe this is his chance. I, I, I should tell him, hey, man, better get that collection together. They can start a gallery exhibition and you can sell them. <laughs> So, the friendler behind the sketches. Yes. So, those are those are where uh, all the stuff that I know of exists. Some of that, some of it I have. Some of my mom has. Some of my buddy Josh has. And then Anna has has some stuff too. Newer stuff. Hey Dana. Thank you for thanking me, Michael. <laughs> I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you for hanging out and spending the evening here, a few little bit here, and uh, watching me create stuff. I think we're getting closing in on finishing the inking part here, so I could start in with the coloring. I like using the markers because to me markers are kind of like sketching but like color sketching. Sometimes I'll use colored pencils too. Or I mix the two. Which is oh it's just another way to gives a little bit of a different effect. Rachel wants to know what I do with my drawings after I'm done with them. Um, well, some of them, like you see here, I color. Um, some I might uh, give to people. Um, I haven't really figured out what I'm going to do. <laughs> some of them sit in the book. Yeah, most of them sit in, the, sit in, sit in my sketchbooks. Mm -hmm until further notice some there are some that i'm going to go back and actually um that didn't didn't win the week drawing ones that i'm gonna um the poll i'm gonna go and color those and we put those up online for um this digital prints which you can then purchase and then do with what you will Like this one is very like personal, so I don't see. I mean, a lot of people wanting to get this because it really it might be an interesting image, but it really doesn't like it's not like, it doesn't mean much to other people as it does to me. But I think there are some drawings that I've done that are kind of you know you don't need to know the story behind it to just say oh yeah throw that on the t-shirt or. You know, something like that. Uh, 
Oh yeah, that subway would be pretty interesting to see completed. Pete, I agree with you. Karen, um, the castle is coming along again. Like I mentioned earlier, I, 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 Anna and I worked on the, the flag, coat of arms and flag today. So that's done. Wanted to get that done because that's going up, you know, once once construction really starts ramping up, you know, got to put that up before everything gets tied down and taped up. So that's done. Um, I've I'm working on the walls right now. This week we'll probably. I'm trying to knock the whole thing out this week. That's that's a plan. I think there'll be some blocks of time where I'll be able to really, really make a lot of progress. I'd like to get it done for this weekend so that um, you know Anna can hang out in it and she can invite her buddy over and they can hang out. Do Castley stuff and also i'd like to get the um our friend our friend lisa got um the castle or kind of like stonework kind of um patterns that we can put around the outside which will be great because i don't have to draw that I can just we can just attach it around the outside and it'll look like a legit castle like a skirt. yeah skirt. yeah it's like a fabric skirt it's genius thank you Lisa Nancy yes I, I did a lot of charcoal drawings when I was in college art school and I also um, done figure drawing courses like like through the rec center through the um, like adult education or whatever you call it stuff that communities have but yeah did a lot of stuff um, that way but again love it messy don't really want to use it when I'm not doing figure drawing because it is so messy. You know, you can all you could I could keep going on forever, but you know, I don't want to do that because you'll never be done. There's always something you can add to to your drawings. Gonna try and finish the castle this week, Lisa. Yeah, try. That's the plan. That's the hope. We've got company coming over Saturday. would like to play in the castle. All right. Okay, here we go. Let's see what this looks like with a little bit less of this pencil on here. Hopefully we won't smear too much.
Does the blue show through? Like, why do you have to erase before you color? Does the color not cover the blue? Um, I, I I feel like it's just well, a couple of things. It 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 um, it's just for the beginning before I do anything. So I don't want to really see it. I mean, there's hints of it's fine, but I just don't want to be like, you know, totally visible <coughs> when I'm, after I'm colored, colored it in. I just wasn't sure if those markers were different, like Sharpies, you know, would like cover everything. But... Sharpies uh, will bleed, I think. Right, but I'm saying that Sharpies will cover the blue, whereas these markers, I don't know if they're that thick. Oh. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, there's the actual lines that I go over are covered, but it's just the stuff that the little sketchy, not the lines that I didn't commit to. Those uh -huh. are what I'm trying to erase mostly. Got it. Like, I don't mind if it's underneath it. Just the other stuff is kind of a little bit messy. So. Mary says she put your drawing on the big screen, and it's awesome. Oh, cool. Fun. He wants to know if we're going to go on 18 page late. Maybe. What do you think? I don't know. We're, we're good. I'm not super tired tonight. Yeah, I'm not really that tired, so yeah. Could do that. I don't know what we would do or talk about. Shoot the breeze. Maybe we, we could do some of those couples cards. <laughs> Boy. No, 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 not the, 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 the one, the old ones. Oh, the not the scary. Party. Okay, yeah, not the scary ones. No, the couples cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just answer questions. Yeah, I'm not opposed to that at all. <laughs> Yes, you did, Jan. We are live. Huh. I just said I'm not that tired of that yawn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not tired. <laughs> it's, it's always fun or funny or fun to me when I start erasing because I start seeing the stuff that I forgot to fully color in. But luckily, nothing gets erased fully, so I can always go back in and ink the stuff that I didn't quite get to. It's going to be a whole different picture that's coming. Yeah. You know, you should test something. What's that? Your remote. Mm -hmm. I believe you can snap a picture with it. Oh. You should test oh, it. Oh, photo. Okay. Take some pictures periodically. Okay. Process. Yeah, let's, let's see how this works. Okay. Okay, so in theory, I just took a picture, took two pictures. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> Darcy, this is a um, needable eraser. It's cool because you use it and then you pull this apart and then the stuff that you erase falls out. So it's you can rejuvenate it basically if you just need it. But I used to love these as a kid. 
I used to like, my dad was a graphic designer, so I'd go into work with him when he had to work on the weekend and he'd hand me some pens and pencils and paper and then these would be like around. So I would grab these and I would just like start making little creatures out of them. That was a added bonus. Kind of like Anna did today. Yeah, yeah. She, so today when I was working on the, um, the uh, you'll see it this week if you're on the uh, MC Princess Anna page with the castle. Uh, we worked on on the the castle uh, coat of arms, a flag for the castle, but we used colored duct tape and. You know, while I was working with it, there was, you know, little pieces in it. I was like, can I, can I have, like, a little piece? And she asked her periodically, and she made, like, a little man <laughs> out of the duct tape. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Do you have it? No, it's on her desk. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's cool, though. Do you want me to go grab it? Sure. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I couldn't believe that she did it herself. I thought you did it. No, I was busy. I was, I was just handing it to her just so she would, wouldn't get bored. You know? so, yeah, I mean, it's, it was, it was it's impressive. I mean, because she, you know, she has arthrogryposis, so her, it's a little bit more difficult for her to put things together. So we'll grab that for you guys to see in a second here. Cleaner now. You have it. Yeah. <laughs> she made a little like superhero a little cape. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> so here's one of those spots that I forgot. Okay. Anna definitely is very, is a little artist. She loves to draw. It's very, um, very prolific. It was so hysterical. My husband asked me, was it really that funny? He says the whole mountain probably heard me laughing. <laughs> it was pretty ridiculous. Funny or not, it was definitely ridiculous. All right, let's see what we got here for colors. Mm -hmm. 
Jody says, Aaron really didn't like the game. That That's not actually true. A lot of people <laughs> thought you really, really were not having a good time. No, I was. I was just, I was definitely um, playing up my, um, <laughs> my irritation. Your curmudgeonly yeah. behavior. Yeah. I don't like this game. <laughs> mm. I, mean, I, I was I was having fun with not having fun. <laughs> so it was that way. Yeah, you know, some of the things I thought were a little gross, but you know, I just rolled with it. And, you know, just, it's not that big a deal. Yeah, you know, with the noodle. I didn't want to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> I watched some of that live from last night back while I was outside and I'll peed myself again. Oh, no. Some of your facial expressions. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> yeah, Cynthia says the fact that Aaron was dead panty is what made it so funny. Exactly. <laughs> Anything for a laugh. It was fun. I think Anna had fun too. She did. Definitely. Even though she swore and didn't know it. Oh boy. <laughs> that was a little mortifying. <laughs> <laughs> she had no idea. No, no, said. but for me I was like, uh <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm getting demonetized, what's happening? <laughs> Pizza's the best was the butterfly phrase when oh. Nana hit her face in the box. I think that's when Aaron melts literally melted into the floor. And yeah. It's like, nope, that's it. We're done. <laughs> Shut it down. Shut it down. <laughs> All right. We've exceeded the fun limit. Let's go home, folks. <laughs> my daughter and my wife have both sworn alive. We're done. We're out. Turn it off. <laughs> You're joking afterward about bringing the family shame. Yes. <laughs> I apologize. I need to add a slip sheet between here so I don't bleed through onto the other side. That would be no bueno. No, Vicky, we, we haven't even mixed the ice cream up yet. We're going to do it today because it's National Ice Cream Day, and and then Aaron worked on the flag for 50 hours. Yeah, so. I blew it, folks. <laughs> so if you're mad we didn't go live, turn it on. Maybe, maybe tomorrow we'll mix up the ice cream. Do a belated National Ice Cream Day. Yeah. We have to try it because... because yeah, we don't want to poison them. Um, friends when they come over. <laughs> so we're not going to play. <laughs> oh, we're planning on making uh, ice cream for dessert with our, with our friends this weekend and we want to make sure it works properly. It's a big, oh, this is um interesting. <laughs> interesting. He's blonde. He was. Oh, back never, then. I was not. I wouldn't have guessed I, that. People don't tend to stay blonde 
I mean, some people do, but I don't know how blonde he is now. Huh. How old were you guys? Eight? I think he, he think he might have. He was a year older than me. So he was like nine, maybe ten. I was like eight or nine. just started running again to see if the dog started chasing again. Shoot, I didn't have any any energy left. And then stop. And then run again. <laughs> and, then, and then stop. I just he I just remember when I looked back up he was just standing barking and growling. He didn't he didn't move. He didn't advance after I and then you know I just slowly like walked walked away. I think he must have just gone home. Mm -hmm. Jody says, I can't believe Aaron has not already ate the ice cream. I know. Aaron's, Aaron's turned into a good boy <laughs> since he got married. There are a few times I snuck ice cream, but I don't do it anymore. It's not, uh, it's not worth it. You know, and, I'm, and the thing is, it's interesting, is like, I can just be happy with just the flavor of the dessert. Um, I don't have to like have the whole thing anymore, which surprises me because I used to be like seriously like a goldfish when it came to, to bad junk food. And I just didn't know when to stop. I just, if it was in front of me, just keep eating. But now I'm a little bit more under control. Like, what was it yesterday? Was it yesterday or was it today? And I just ate the little pieces of the cake. I didn't eat the whole thing. Uh, the nothing but yesterday. one cake. So. <clears throat> but uh, having pre-diabetes is... Um, Definitely helped me. <laughs> Pete says, are goldfish notorious junk food eaters? <laughs> <laughs> They're notorious for eating themselves to death. Yeah, they don't stop. You just keep feeding them for things. Just, or like a pound dog just keeps uh, eating because they don't think they're ever going to eat again. Get all sick. Maybe they just don't have a, a full trigger. Maybe. Michelle's asking if diabetes runs in your family. It does, yes. So I've seen the effects. I know where I'm headed if I if I don't uh, watch myself. It's not not uh, not a good place to end up. You can zoom in a bit and give them a close up view for a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. I got this handy dandy remote. I can just zoom on in. It's very sensitive. <laughs> he looks so angry. He is. He's so <laughs> mad. Get out of my dried up river bed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly what he was saying.
but I'm I'm just glad that I didn't like like swear off dogs at that point. I mean, I could very well have just been terrified of dogs for the rest of my life. I just said, you know what? That's just one incident. Can't uh, can't rule them out. And they ended up working with dogs. And some of my best dog friends have been German Shepherds. get like a, a brush with with white ink at some point like a real thin brush so I could do a little like white highlights that'd be cool oh. I got it I have to do it remotely you can't oh I messed it up yeah. sorry I should reschedule that so it comes on later on Saturday, Sundays Some days, yeah. So it doesn't even start at Zoom out again. Okay. Yeah, zoom out so they can see what you're doing. This is it. As far that's as it not, goes. That's not that. As far as it zooms out. Well, yeah, no. It hasn't adjusted. There's a delay. Oh. Everybody's like, zoom out, zoom out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm zooming. Jody's <clears throat> asking, should we be getting ads with these yet? Not with the live streams. They have not approved ads with the live streams on his page. 
We're not quite sure why he is eligible by their standards, but for whatever reason, they keep denying it. He does have ads on videos, but not on live streams. I would just like to thank everybody again for um, helping me get to this point where I get to draw again. I really, I'm still, I just can't believe I'm doing this every day. I never, ever, ever, ever thought I'd be drawing again. It's just, it's really been very nice for me. Thanks, Jody. This is, um, it's fun to just pick out colors. So I just, next time I'll ask you guys what colors to do. Just trying to remember back, like what, what we wear back then. You know, a lot of like, eyes odd shirts you know alligator little alligator thing up in the logo are they still around i wouldn't wear those anymore other brands that people wear back in the 80s I'm trying to remember jordash jeans uh, tnc surf 
designs. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> Jody, yeah, your son wore the, <laughs> the IZOD shirts. I had so many of those. I was talking with my friend Sharon about, I think Sharon about members only jackets to get it. JC Pennies or Sears, maybe. But they still have them because I think I'm the only member of the uh, members only. Because I got one. I still have one. I actually bought one later on that fits me now. Because I just had to have one. So remember, we had Velcro shoes and whatever happened to Velcro shoes? People still wear those? Mm -hmm. You know why they didn't catch on more? I think my mom, like I had them for a while, my mom was like, you know, you need to keep practicing tying your shoes. <laughs> yes, Leanne Oshkosh. When I was real little, I remember I had some of those overalls. Then a time, yeah. Stacy's husband has a members only jacket too. Mine was, <clears throat> I remember back when I had them originally, I think mine was like a grayish blue or baby blue or something. But the one I have now is black. But I was so happy when I found, I, I just did like a search online. And when I found them, I was so happy. I was like, oh, they still have them. I'm getting me one. Bell bottoms were, I think, were a little bit more early 80s and late 70s, right? I remember I had corduroy pants when I was littler, and I liked them better than jeans because they weren't as scratchy. Then I got into middle school and everybody made fun of me, so I stopped wearing corduroys when they wore jeans. <laughs> Pete, did you have a, have a leisure suit? If so, 
what did it look like and what color was it? <clears throat> and then I just remember like at some point, well, there was definitely the whole, the hairspray, you know, tons of hairspray. Before that, there was like, all the girls were getting perms and stuff. That was a little weird. <clears throat> Maybe it's cool. I don't know. It just seemed like for little kids, it's a little bit much. Mary, you ironed your hair? Wow, that sounds like a lot of work. <clears throat> sounds kind of dangerous, too. <laughs> All right. Okay, what do we got? Okay, I promise I will. Move through this background quickly so it's not to bore you guys. So try to cover large swaths of of ground. Just gotta find some nice foresty colors here. Bear with me. All right. <clears throat> At least you can't wear flip flops. I love I, those are the shoes of my people, so I love them. Sorry, I was like startup. Oh, I could got this new technology, newfangled <laughs> technology. It's pretty cool. Let me show it off, and then I forget. <laughs> Stack the colors before we get it. Oh, yeah, here's what I'm using currently. Got some more browns here. But see how this is kind of like why well, I like it. it's kind of sketchy too. That's why I've gravitated towards these markers. I've always loved markers. They are not cheap though, especially if you don't if you get just more than just a basic set. I tend to build up, or when I am actively drawing, I tend to build up a collection of them over time. Yeah, but now we uh, we have a full arsenal here. Mm 
How do I? Just, just touch, start just, moving. If you just touch the screen somewhere where you want to focus, it should do it. So. Start moving the press. No, don't move anything. Just I literally just tap this one. This did. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Hopefully that did something. All right. These chairs. The hatches. Sorry about that. Yes, Susan, all of Aaron's art supplies are on our our uh, Amazon affiliate store. Linda, this drawing was uh, last week on Monday. Because your arm, because you get your whole arm in there. Oh, yeah, I should zoom in a bit. Mm -hmm. um, Let's see. Let's see. It doesn't. It doesn't look out of focus there, but it looks out of focus on my laptop. Hmm. Could just be Facebook too. Could be. So I'm gonna try to burn through this because again, I don't want to bore you with backgrounds. <laughs> Oh, that helped. If you guys were seeing the picture all pixelated the way I just was, I left and came back and it completely fixed it. So it's just Facebook. Why are you I, Facebook? I, that's like the solution <clears throat> for everything these days. If you're, if the picture is blurry, if it's blacking out, if you're not hearing things properly, if you're not seeing all the comments, if there's anything weird happening at all, leave and come back. Oh, Facebook. You can pull a camera towards you or push your paper. Yeah, I don't know. Michelle's asking what kind of trees you have in California. Oh, we've got oak trees. We've got redwoods in Northern California where I am. Um, what else? There's lots of eucalyptus, surprisingly. It was imported. Very not good for the fires. They're very flammable and have been the source of a lot of major fires. Um, what else? 
those are the manuals that I can remember. Got like Manzanita. Um, hmm. Judy's has sequoias. Uh, those tend to be up farther north from where I am. trees and what else do we have uh i'm bad i'm sorry i should know more those are the ones that i remember <laughs> cypress i think we got some of those too There are some palm trees, yes. Those tend to be more down in Southern California, but there, there are definitely some, some palm trees. Just when the frosts uh, happen, sometimes they don't survive, so they don't do as well up north where I'm from as they do down in Southern California, where they're abundant, or out here in Florida as well. Lots of oak trees, for sure. In this particular area where this story takes place, there's um, a lot of redwoods, sort of shaded area.
Thanks, Vicky. Uh, Kathy, I think they're they're probably like um, redwoods and trees maybe Susie says just joining in you're pretty quiet oh sorry about that <laughs> sort of just trying to get this background um, put together here sorry Doing all the mundane rocks and the, trying to get this done quickly because I don't want to keep you guys too long here. Oops. So, just to recap for anybody who's dropped in, this is just this is the picture that won the votes for last. This past week and um it was a picture of my buddy and, and i's a little adventure down a dry creek bed where we ended up getting chased by a scary dog <laughs> Thanks, Linda. Yeah, I want to get this done so um, so you guys don't have to stay here, or if you want to see us live on another page, then it will be too late over there on the uh, A team page. If you guys weren't familiar, we've got a, a page where um, Nana and I go live usually after Anna's uh, in bed. We have fun over there with you guys. I think we're gonna do um, one of those. Uh, it's like a question card. What is it? It's like a question card game where they. What is it again? They're, they're just like questions for couples. Like it's they can get pretty serious. It's not like a. It's not like last night. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like a, a super funny. It's, it's kind of like deep, like. Yeah, put you on the spot type questions. Penciling a big foot behind a tree for me. I did the other day. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what Facebook is doing. It's really I keep having to refresh my my live because it's just pixelating them. Really? It's pixelating it all to Yikes. I just want to keep wanting to say bad words because it's pixelated so bad. That's not good. 
it does not look that way on so it, it's not our camera and it's not our internet connection um, and if you replay this live it will look perfect it is something going on with facebook and it's really annoying so other people are seeing what you're seeing yes it's not cool yeah, there were a couple other people who were also said it was blurry for them as well it's no, not good it, it's something facebook is doing to like um to be annoying well yeah <laughs> Really, really crazy. Yeah, Sharon, leave and come back, and you'll see it like fixes for a little bit, and then it starts doing it again. Like it starts degrading over time. It's all like distorted and pixelated. It's like Facebook can't keep up with the quality. Like they're like they're throttling the um, the resolution. Jeez. Well, I couldn't tell on my phone either, Jody, but I think that's just because the picture is so much smaller. I'm on my laptop now, so I'm looking at it big and it's really jacked up. Yes, Stacey, the book of faces. The book of faces is at it again. I can't wait till we get this live, these lives over on YouTube. Yeah, that'll be cool. Yeah, if you guys, any of you guys, guys are on YouTube, if you can, um, and you haven't joined over there, the Sketchy Friendler, that would be so awesome. So I can get get these up live too over there. Be huge. Thanks, Stacy. Yeah, and like I said, guys, it's, it's it doesn't look the same on your phones because it's a much smaller picture. So if you're on a phone, you're likely not not noticing the distortion because the picture is so much smaller. But it's definitely happening. Thanks, Debbie. <laughs> She's just like, run, Aaron, run. <laughs> I like the uh, sides, the slope. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know how you shaded it. It's cool. Thanks. Your mom, so okay. Aaron talked to his mom last night and he was telling her about this picture and about this moment in time. And she, she did the whole mom, like, no, I didn't know about this. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> He's like, don't you remember? She's like, uh, no, I don't remember. <laughs> I guess we forgot to mention that. Uh... 
But I thought it was really sweet and, and fun to find out that she's been watching your videos. Yeah. On YouTube. She doesn't have Facebook. Yeah. Well, she's getting the better quality ones over there. Yeah. <laughs> So is the, was the riverbed something that filled in when it rained, if it ever rained, or did yeah, it stay dry? Yeah, back, back when I was a kid, we didn't have, I mean, there was a drought, like, in the 70s, but then during the 80s, like, it, there were some times where we didn't go to school because there was flooding so in, the, in the winter. And so, in the winter, this was, this, like, this was a full, you know, nice creek, you know, it was, it was full. And, um... But during the summer, it dried up. And now it's probably been, I bet it's just been dry for a while because there's so, many, so much drought in California right now. It's just really sad. Droughts and fires. And, uh, it's not like how it used to be. Yeah, in, in February, like December through February, March, April, there'd be tons of. Tons of rain. Oops, sorry. Sorry, guys. Hmm? You moved it down. Oh. Look. Right. Right. Night, Karen. Good night. Thanks for hanging out. Jennifer says, when I was in my 30s, my mom found out about a party I had when I was 16. She was so mad. <laughs> <laughs> did it, did, how did it come out? Like, did you talk about it or did somebody else bring it up or what happened? No, Sharon, she she just left. We're not on YouTube. We haven't figured out how to um we have to we have to get the YouTube set up on StreamYard. We haven't done it yet. Plus, uh, I don't know if he's eligible to go live yet on YouTube. We gotta figure that out. He doesn't he only has five hundred and some odd subscribers. I think he needs a thousand or something. Jennifer says her cousin told her mom. Oops. They had the party together. <laughs> I love that your mom was like still mad <laughs> 15 years later.
Oh, Jana says I just got my first tattoo and I'm 52. Too scared to tell my mom. <laughs> That's cute. Ashley says, my mom just found out about a night that I snuck out of the house when I was 17 and took the car. My brother and his big mouth. Oops. <laughs> you know, it's interesting now because you know how like kids back in the day, if they would do that, they would have to roll their car down the hill or whatever and then kick it into gear. So it was quiet, right? If you sneak your car out. What? Yeah. Roll it out so that your parents don't hear you taking the car out, right? You, you roll it down, and then you get down the street, and it gets momentum, and then you turn it on. Okay. But now, the cars are all electric. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. You can just roll out of there. Parents will never know. The cars are all electric? Yeah. The, the cars don't make, electric cars don't make any Where sense. Where are the cars all electric? Well, I mean, wherever the cars are electric. <laughs> If you're lucky enough that your folks have an electric car. Wait, wait till they have flying cars. They'll never know. Right. <laughs> See, I, I, I was one of those kids that told on myself when I got in trouble. I would feel so much guilt about doing something wrong that I would tell my mother before she would find out i can't take it i figured i think i knew that it would be better i would be in less trouble if i told her myself than if she found out otherwise just head her off to the pass so the one time in my life when i skipped class in high school i skipped a day of school by myself no friends or anything what, did, what made you just want to take... I don't know. I didn't want to go. I probably had a test or something. Uh, I was going to say, like, why would you if you weren't hanging out with anybody? I skipped I skipped school, and and then I, I, was, I felt so guilty. And I knew that they were going to call her the next day and tell her I was absent. So I just, I just told her that night. I'm like, I skipped school today. And then you got busted? Yeah. <laughs> you what? How old were you? Mm. Middle school or high school? No, this was like ninth or tenth grade. Yeah. High yeah. Okay, I think we're heading into the end here. Jennifer says, my mom didn't like me driving to the lake at night because the road was dangerous. I'd give myself up every time because I'd ask her to check my back for ticks. <laughs> Susan got busted for sneaking out and said she was climbing out the window because she heard raccoons out there. <laughs> did, what, did you get, did you, did they believe you? <laughs> <laughs> Jersey, I have a Pixel 6 too. Google Fi United. Well, I guess just because you have a Pixel doesn't mean you have Google Fi. I love Google Fi. So cheap. Thanks, Brenda. 
Google Fi is pretty cool. Leanne says, my aunt told me my mom used to smoke as a teenager, and my mom went on to tell me, I never smoked or drank. Or drank. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they all say. Ah. Rita says, hope to become a top fan on this site soon. I watch them all. Rita, I, I you know... Facebook's algorithm for the badges is just as insane as the algorithm for views and engagement because it makes absolutely no sense. I have received three top fan badges in the last week for, for pages that I never, ever, ever, ever go on. Haven't seen a single video in I don't know how long. And they're like, you have a top fan badge for this page. And yeah. They don't, we don't control any of that stuff. They okay. they just bestow it on people randomly. I think I think it's all BS. Honestly, not to burst anyone's bubble, but I think it's just to encourage engagement. Like it's yeah, because it's so random. Yeah, it, it seems very random. Yeah. And then I feel bad when people are like heartbroken because they feel like they've worked really hard to get it, and then Facebook just randomly takes it away for some reason. Right. That's kind of messed up, too. It's like, why do you take it away? If somebody earns it, then they should be able to just have it. Yeah. Now, the other badges, the ones you get for being a supporter or doing stars or um, being a milestone follower, like those ones are legitimate. Those ones actually go based on your interaction. Those ones are nicer. Yeah. But the top fan badge, I think, is a load of... Horse hooey? Yeah. Sharon says it is BS because come on, I didn't get one. <laughs> all right, I think I think that's uh, about all I got in me tonight. Any uh anything I should mention? I'm trying to think. Uh, Before I take I off. I don't here. think so. I think that you're probably going to. Um, I think this next weekend you'll probably have to either do or pick when you're going to do the um, selection for July supporters. Oh yes. Okay. So. As Aaron was trying to explain earlier, he has a supporter page. It's $9.99 a month. The purpose of the page, it's not really a social group like our other supporter pages. It's more of a um, pool that you can add yourself to. And the purpose is to kind of um, even out the workload for him because so many people want to commission work from him already and there's just no way if he were to like you know put up a a sale post and say okay a hundred dollars you can commission a piece of work so many people would do it and it would, it would get overwhelming very quickly and plus we didn't want to have to like tell people it's a hundred dollars or fifty dollars or whatever you know like everybody's tight on money right now so we figured the easier way to do it is kind of like a it's almost like a layaway plan <laughs> you you join the supporter group, you pay the $9.99 a month, and each month one person will be randomly selected to get their commission piece that they would like to um, have him do. It is a one subject pencil drawing. It will be shipped to you physically um, by regular shipping. If you want to do something like add additional subjects or have him full color it, or have him expedite the shipping, there would be some upcharges for that. But otherwise, the drawing is included, um, the shipping is included in your supporter subscription. And um, yeah, I think July will be picked by the end of the month here, which is coming up quick. And then he'll work on it um, all of August and then ship it to the person and you just keep doing that each month. So. Yeah, so that'll be fun. Be cool to see what kind of 
ideas people give me. So I think that's it. Thank you guys. It's been awesome. I'm so glad that everybody hang, hung out to, tonight. It always amazes me and I'm, I'm thrilled. And thank you so much. And uh, I will see you guys soon. Okay, guys. Good night. Bye.